Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, so you know what that means. Meal prep mania! But today's a little different. So I literally just got back from vacation and I ate and drank like crap for two weeks straight. So, you know, back in the day, that would have unraveled me. I would have been thinking about, you know, all the weight I gained, all the muscle I lost, and, you know, even before the trip, I would have just been freaking out, wondering where the local gyms were, and kind of, you know, not enjoying my vacation because I was too worried all the time. And I'm not really like that anymore. Of course, I still think about stuff like that because, you know, we all have minds and they're crazy and keep moving. But, you know, my journey has evolved over the years. So since 2003, you know, right when I graduated college, my body started changing. I started gaining weight. You know, I wasn't cheerleading and dancing anymore like I was in college. And my body just wasn't responding to food like it used to. Uh, so I started to learn what a calorie was and started counting them. You know, I started going to the gym, working out, counting calories, and that worked for years and years. But then I learned about macros. And so then I started, you know, counting macros instead, which is protein, carbs, and fat. And, you know, my journey evolved from there. And now I don't really count anything anymore. I just know that lean meats, uh, veggies, simple carbs are the way to go. You know, and my body responds to that. I'm also not, you know, drinking like I used to, besides these last two weeks. Um, so, you know, it's all about the journey. And everybody's journey is going to be different. Not one person's journey will be the same. Uh, you know, we all have mental setbacks. We all have different bodies, different genetics. So everybody's journey is different. And that's what you have to think about is that it's progress, not perfection. You know, we're not perfect. We're not always going to be perfect. So don't let a bad decision you know, catapult forward and have you making multiple bad decisions. You know, so I just binged, ate, and drank for the last two weeks. You know, pasta, wine, all day long. Um, but now I'm back. And the party's over, vacation's over. So first thing I'm going to do tomorrow is go grocery shopping, get a ton of chicken, veggies, uh, and then like tonight I had steak and quinoa and a tomato cucumber salad. You can head to briocd.com to get that recipe. Just the key here is this is all about a lifestyle change and you need to find what works for you. So don't have the might as well mentality where oh, I ate bad so I might as well keep going. Um, you know, I messed up so I might as well just quit that diet I was on and, and just keep eating bad. Don't do that. Two is don't punish yourself. So don't punish yourself for making a bad decision because it's only going to, you know, cause you to make more bad decisions. So your body needs energy to expend energy. So because I ate bad for two weeks does not mean that I am going to punish myself uh, and feel guilty and now not eat. I need to eat, but I'm going to focus on lean meats, veggies, simple carbs, have my nice yogurt parfait every morning, and just get back on track. Work out, eat healthy, and, and continue on with my fitness journey. I had a little blip in the road, and that's what happens, you know. You have work trips, you have vacations, you have, you know, meetings all day, and you don't eat as though you should. Just make a healthier decision the next time. You know, that's all we can do is one decision at a time, make a good choice. And if we fall off the wagon, just get back on it. You know, this is for you. This is your fitness journey, your health journey, and your life. So you can't do it for somebody else. You need to do it for yourself. So don't have the might as well mentality. Do not punish yourself and, and just keep making healthy choices one decision at a time. So this week, I don't have any new recipes for you because I literally just got back. Uh, I'm going to be sticking with some chicken steak, salmon, uh, with some veggie sides. But you can head to BrieOCD.com, pick out your three or four favorite recipes. And then tomorrow, go grocery shopping, Sunday meal prep all day, baby, because I know I will. I need to go and pick out some recipes for myself 
uh, to make for this upcoming week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, it's a journey, progress, not perfection, people. If you mess up, just get back up and keep going. Make another healthy decision. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, please. I really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram at BrieHancy.com. And no, at BrieHancy. And head to BrieOCD.com for all healthy recipes, my travels, and a little bit more of Brie. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Friday. Yeah.